two barrels of cane syrup were tied down in the wagon. In college, Chris Irvin studied African American history. But the mob was still hauling him farther down the street. His great grandfather is a large part of it. Black history is American history. You can't have one without the other. George Dawson was a lifelong Dallas resident, the grandson of a slave, and didn't learn to read till he was 98, publishing his biography, Life is So Good, at 103. And, and so he was able to see some of the good, the bad, and the ugly of America. Carroll ISD has a middle school named after him, but the district is now reviewing if the book he pinned is appropriate for its students. And that's hurtful. Or you take away the bad and the ugly and you just talk about the good, like, that doesn't add up to me. I, I would call them safer words. The district couldn't share what content was deemed inappropriate, but said an evaluation is ongoing. I can't go to your history and I can't tell you, hey, X that out of your life, that didn't happen. Irvin said he and his family have gone to the school at least five years in a row. Sure, my great grandfather's story. For a cover to cover reading and wonders why there's an issue now. It's not surprising to me. I mean, it's disappointing, but I'm not surprised. That's Raven like Roll is a 2019 Carroll grad who attended Dawson Middle. She wished the school and district spent more time sharing his story. Okay, let's consider why he wasn't able to learn how to read until he was 98. We never had so much time to talk about it. Irvin suspects chapter one, which describes a lynching, could be the problem. And so he sat there with his dad and watched his best friend getting lynched for a crime that he did not commit. History can be rough to remember. So every time I read him, I hear his voice and it, he's just there. But if you only read the title, you'd miss what makes Dawson's story worth writing. My question then would be, when are they ready? In Southlake, I'm William Joy.